Hey guys, so I just installed the Android 7.1.1 uh, NuGet developer preview on my Google Nexus 6P and in this video I'm going to be talking about top 5 uh, favorite features about this new 7.1.1 uh, preview we have and also uh, about the NuGet in general so so let's start off with the first one which is the new shortcuts uh, that are now debuted with the Android 7.1 so when you hold on uh, to a certain application it gives you a bit of uh, more options you know it's not like 3d touch but it gives you uh, you know shortcuts uh, related to that application for example with the messenger I can just quickly uh, make uh, you know s send a new message new conversation uh, with the phone dialer I can make a new contact and uh, with the camera I can quickly take a selfie or take a video so uh, yeah it's uh, it's nice it's uh, something you can say will be made more better it does not work with like uh, 3d uh, or uh, I mean the third-party applications uh, but in the future I can see that it will get the support for that so definitely uh, the first favorite thing we have uh, here uh, with the Android uh, NuGet 7.1 here. Uh, the next thing I like here is the change we have in the camera UI. So now uh, you can uh, of course normal focus there you can just tap in like this and there's like a different kind of effect to that and you also got the option to tweak the exposure so you can go all the way to maximum and lower value so uh, it's just so easier to um, you know change the values of the exposure and yeah you know you just have to focus on a certain object for example I have this here so when I focus and I can just quickly you know slide this thing up and down it's a really convenient thing we have and uh, also you get uh, other options here on the top right corner you get the flash grid HDR plus which is the secret ingredient to the Google's camera uh, we got the phone, uh, the uh, what you call it, timer, yeah, and then you got some more options. You can go into setting and tweak something uh, you want to, but but yeah, the main thing we have here uh, that I like is the way you can uh, tweak the exposure, and it basically plays a very important role when you're capturing a photo. You know, exposure is really important, so you need to control that. Uh, uh, at number three, we have a big new addition. Uh, in the storage uh, section here so if I go quickly in uh, to the main settings and when we scroll down here let's find storage okay here we go now storage uh, is like they have added some new things here first off it shows you the amount of free storage you have okay as you can see I have 8.55 GB of data used out of 58.24 uh, then I got the applications it shows me how much data applications and photos and everything is taking and then if I go here to manage storage I can turn on the smart storage, basically get rid of uh, get rid of the photos and videos, you know, and uh, in the photos and videos that you have already made a backup of, it can remove that, and you can also free up space, which is pretty good addition. Also, it will search uh, all the files that are in your internal storage, uh, like APK files, you know, um, and then you can you know quickly. Uh, free up the space it will delete all the applications of course at, at this at this point it just have selected this one but I can select as many as I can and I can free up the space I, uh, I want you know so it scans the internal storage and it can give you uh, you know more space obviously for those people who are having uh, a bit of less storage if there are I think there's like a Nexus 5x with 16 gigabyte storage so it would be more efficient there and uh, if we talk about the fourth uh, favorite thing here that is also added first time with the 7.1 uh, here is the move. So if I go into the uh, main settings, you can see that we have moves option, which is basically some quick gestures. So first off, you can quickly jump into camera uh, anywhere if you are on your phone, you just have to double press the uh, power button uh, to get into the camera which works flawlessly uh, and then we get the flip camera option so you can flip your camera to switch between selfie mode and the back camera mode so if I just quickly show you guys here first I'm going to launch the camera and let's say you want to quickly take a selfie so you have to twist your phone like this 
double twist is like this, double twist is like this, and it's gonna go to the back camera. So you can switch uh, between these two camera modes uh, with ease without wasting any time. And uh, also with the moves, you also get the option, of course, uh, that when your phone is lying down on the table, you pick your phone up, and it shows you the time and of course your notification if there's any so this is also in the in the move section and you can disable uh, this if you don't want it so it says uh, lift to check phone okay so you can quickly check your notifications and time now the fifth feature would have been the night play uh, that is on the google pixel phone i don't know if i'm saying the, the right feature but basically that feature is uh, about the, the display i mean it turns uh, screen yellow it takes all the whites out of your display you know just so good to look at at night time and especially if you read books uh, then it's uh, at night time then it's, it's going to be really good for your eyes so it's not there on the nexus 6p uh, i'm not sure if i'm the, if they're gonna uh, introduce this in the future versions of the Android 7.1 developer preview but right now it is nowhere to be found and uh, so yeah uh, I'm going to talk about some some things generally about the NuGet that I like a lot so first off of course is the true multitasking uh, ability we have so it's, for example if I launch uh, these two applications uh, hold on to the uh, multitasking key here for some time okay First, you gotta get into the application and then do it like this. Tap on the second application and there we go. So this is the true multitasking, you can say. Uh, it also works, you know, when you are in the uh, horizontal mode. So, so this works with every application like Instagram, Facebook. So you can, you know, uh, check your both social network application at the same time. It's really great that Android has given us the ability to uh, you know take advantage of this true multitasking and uh, definitely this is uh, what I like about the NuGet uh, in general you know one of the top things about it and uh, you know Android has made this multi window thing official here with the with the base Android thing you know previously was just with Samsung phone and now it is built into the stock Android which is great and I also like the quick shortcuts we have so I don't have to swipe uh, like all the way down and check for the options like I can just swipe like this and gives me all the main options that I need for example the the Wi-Fi the battery of course the, if I, I don't have the sim card but you'll see the option there uh, do not disturb flash and auto rotate so pretty much all the main options are there but if you want to access more so you can press it here like this or you can swipe it again and it'll give you like a more of a deep look but it is like a quick way to access the quick shortcut so uh, yeah I really want this from Samsung to like implement something like that into their quick setting area thing uh, they already have but I want them to like improve it a bit more. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Those were the top five favorite uh, things currently that I like on my Nexus XP running Android 7.1. And I know you guys have been requesting videos about the Google Pixel phone. Uh, we should be here in a couple of days. Uh, obviously, it was launched... Uh, I think in, yeah elsewhere but uh, but of course it will take some time to come to the place where I live uh, but I promise that I will be getting it in as soon as possible so we'll cover that up we'll do comparisons and all sorts of videos so thank you so much for watching this video subscribe for daily tech content and I'll see you in the next one peace out